So ain't this a bitch? Yeah. Ain't this a bitch? Yeah. America's heroes who fought in our wars outside sweating their asses off with oxygen, battling all kinds of ailments, while these motherfuckers sit in the air conditioning, walled off from any of it. They don't have to hear it. They don't have to see it. They don't have to understand that these are human beings. Do you get it yet? Do we see that these, are, these aren't heroes? These are men and women, mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers that we just let stand outside in the heat when they can't breathe. I'm gonna read you something, this, this is beautiful. This is a, I'm gonna read you something beautiful. You know what, I said a curse word and I'm sorry about that. That was my fault. Let me say something beautiful. This is a tweet from Senator Rick Scott of Florida from yesterday. It's beautiful and I'm sorry about the cursing and let me say something beautiful to make it up to you. I was honored to join the USO today and make care packages for our brave military members in gratitude, in gratitude of their sacrifice and service to our nation. And there's a beautiful picture. I wish you could see it. He's standing with a little package. Did you get the package? It's, I think it has M&Ms in it and some cookies. And some moist towelettes. I, I, I don't even know, honestly, I don't even know what to say. I've been coming down here 10, 15 years. I'm used to the hypocrisy. Christina Keene will tell you from BFW. They, she sat in an office with Mitch McConnell and a war veteran from Kentucky, and he looked that man in the eyes and he said, We'll, we'll get it done. And he lied to him. Because Mitch McConnell yesterday flipped. I'm used to the lies. I'm used to the hypocrisy. Senator Pat Toomey won't take a meeting with the veterans groups. Sends out his chief of staff. I'm used to the cowardice. I've been here a long time. Senate's where accountability goes to die. These people don't care. They're never losing their jobs. They're never losing their health care. Pat Toomey didn't lose his job. He's walking away. God knows what kind of pot of gold he's stepping into to lobby this government to shit on more people. I'm used to all of it, but I am not used to the cruelty. They passed it. June 16th, they passed the PACT Act. 84 to 14. You don't even see those scores in the Senate anymore. They passed it. Every one of these individuals that has been fighting for years, standing on the shoulders of Vietnam veterans who have been fighting for years, standing on the shoulders of Persian Gulf War veterans fighting for years, Desert Storm veterans, to just get the health care and benefits that they earned from their service. And I don't care if they were fighting for our freedom. I don't care if they were fighting for the flag. I don't care if they were fighting because they wanted to get out of a drug treatment center or it was jail or the army. I don't give a shit. They lived up to their oath. And yesterday, they spit on it in abject cruelty. These people thought they could finally breathe. You think their struggles end because the PACT Act passes? All it means is they don't have to decide between their cancer drugs and their house. Their struggle continues. This bill does a lot more than just give us health care. Gives them health care, gives them benefits, lets them live. Keeps veterans from going homeless, keeps veterans from becoming addicts, keeps veterans from committing suicide. Senator Toomey's not going to hear that because he won't sit down with this man. Because he is a fucking coward. You hear me? A coward. And like I say, I'm used to it. 
But this type of cruelty on those that we say we hold up as our most valued Americans? Then what are we? Pat Toomey stood up there, Patriot Pat Toomey, excuse me, I'm sorry. I want to give him his propers. I want to make sure that I give him his propers. Patriot Pat Toomey stood on the floor and said, this is a slush fund. They're going to use $400 billion to spend on whatever they want. That's nonsense. I call bullshit. This isn't a slush fund. You know what's a slush fund? The OCO, the Overseas Contingency Operations Fund, $60 billion, $70 billion every year on top of $500 billion, $600 billion, $700 billion of a defense budget. That's a slush fund, unaccountable, no guardrails. Did Pat Toomey stand up and say, this is irresponsible, the guardrails? No, not one of them did. They vote for it year after year after year. You don't support the troops, you support the war machine. That's all you care about. Boy, they haven't, they haven't met a war they won't sign up for, and they haven't met a veteran they won't screw over. What the fuck are we? Barbaric. Barbaric. And now they're going to go away. Uh, P Pat Toomey says, uh, oh, I've got veterans groups behind me. I call bullshit. These are the veterans groups. VFW, American Legion, IAVA, Wounded Warriors, DAV, and vets, they're all here. This is the veterans community, Senator. They don't stand behind you. In fact, you won't let them stand in front of you. Cowards, all of them. Cowards, all of them. And now they say, well, this will get done maybe in the... Uh, after we get back from our summer recess, maybe during the lame duck, because they're on Senate time. Do you understand? You live around here. Senate time is ridiculous. These motherfuckers live to 200. They're tortoises. They live forever, and they never lose their jobs, and they never lose their benefits, and they never lose all those things. Well, they're not on Senate time. They're on human time, cancer time. Don't you have families? Don't you have people who are deciding how to live their last moments? I know some of them. They've been down here advocating with us. They spent their remaining time advocating so that other soldiers didn't have to face the indignities and the depravity and the desperation that they faced. And none of them will hear it. And none of them care. Except to tweet. Boy, they'll tweet it. Can't wait to see what they come up with on Veterans Day, on Memorial Day, well, this is the reality of it. I, I honestly don't even know what to say anymore, but we need your help because we're not leaving. These people cannot go away. I don't know if you know this. You know, obviously, I'm not a, a military expert. I didn't serve in the military, but from what I understand, you're not allowed to just leave your post when the mission isn't completed. Apparently, you take an oath. You swear an oath and you can't leave. But these folks can leave because they're on Senate time. Go ahead, go home, spend time with your families because these people can't do it anymore. So they can't leave until this gets done. Because these people will not give up, they will not give in, and they will not relent. This is an embarrassment to the Senate, to the country, to the founders, and all that they profess to hold dear. And if this is America first, then America is fucked.